Hey, welcome back once again, cool people. My name's Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CI CCP questions of the day, where the majority of days during the week I come at you with two questions to help you as you continue to do your studies for your CI SSP exam. So, with that said, let's jump right into it. My first question today is X509 or X.509, if you want to say the dot, or but I say X509, is the standard for which of the following? Those are your answer choices. Give those a ponder when you're ready. Click pause, or click pause, and then when you're ready, click play, and then we can uh, break it all down. All right, the right answer here is X509 is the standard for public key infrastructure certificates, or PKI certificates. X509 goes in and describes the exact structure of, of how certificates are built, what all the individual fields are, um, as well as it goes in and describes uh, how they work with certificate authorities and how all that signing stuff and as it goes in and works. Uh, none of the answer choices here beyond that are even marginally correct. Um, it's all about public key infrastructure and the structure of their certificates. All right, next question is, which of these key links is available in the Rindahl or Rindale algorithm? Rindahl is the algorithm that's used in AES. So there's a very long list of choices for you to pick from. Go ahead and have a look. Click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click play, and we will tell you what the correct answers are. All right, the right answer here is 128, 192, and 256. Those are the three sizes that you are typically going to see AES or Rindell deployed in. Now, there's the technical nature of this and then there's the practical reality of it. Technically, Rindell supports keys in 32-bit increments, so uh, with a minimum size of 128 bits. So any any increment of 130, or 128 plus 32 plus 32 plus 32 would technically be correct, but I've never seen an implementation of AES, which uses Rindell, um, be anything other than 128, 192, or 256. So that's the practical reality of it. But from a technical perspective, anything that's 128 bits and greater in increments of 32 is legit. All right, two more questions down. Simple enough. Hope those help you as you continue for your exam prep, and see you tomorrow.